Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at a little stylized game called Lantern. This game is out now on Steam, so if you want to check it out, head over to the Steam store and type in Lantern. This game looked a little different to me, which is why I thought I'd try it out. Um, I think it has controller support, but let's find out. Okay, we do have controller support, so let's click the options button and, and see what we've got in here. So we've got anti-aliasing, which is on two times, we can change it to four times or eight times. Or we can just leave that as is and start up again. So this is a game like many of the games like Flower and Journey, it's an experience more than it is a game. And it's based on Japanese lanterns. Looks like a very stylized game. And so I thought we'd uh, have a little look. Some decent imagery there. Oh well. Now with regards to resolution, it should be on. Uh, pretty decent, but it does look a little fuzzy. And here we are, now if we go back to options, we can actually change all this. So we'll change to 8 times. We'll put the anything on extreme, it is actually on full HD. Music volume is there, there, and the little white is off. And uh, let's press A. So usually, actually, it's a little bit disappointing, <laughs> to say the least, but it's... Uh, so you play as this lantern, you light everything up in colour, which is pretty cool. Okay, so there's no real objective as such. It just seems like you can go... Can you go anywhere? Nope, there is a ceiling. Boundaries. We haven't got everything, but we missed some spots. There's no consequence for hitting into things either, it just...
don't know these are lantern to shut up. And the doors have opened. So let's head on through. You get that little boost, it just does a whole like a massive area. I would say it's it's as pleasing as Flower or Journey or other games similar. Um, it's pretty cool, but it's like at least with Journey or Flower, you did have some sort of objective. And it was more of a sense of relation. Still, the art style is cool, and the colours are definitely vibrant. The soundtrack is non intrusive. The gameplay is okay, it's one of those very relaxing, calming kind of kind of games. Oh sweet, that's a lot of view. You don't actually see how or when your your pulse is sort of recharged either. There's no UI information. The controller is vibrating now and I have no idea why. It's nice seeing everything turn to colour, but I just, I don't know, I'm not convinced. I'm not sold by it yet.
I like the way the little lanterns come up as well, it's really cool. It's one of those experiences, like I say, where I'm not quite sure. It's a cool concept and it's definitely to be clean, but it's just a bit bizarre and it's relaxing for sure. It's very nice. Art style is pretty decent, although we could expect a little more from the visuals. I like the way the movement works. I like the way. Looks. I like the way it sounds, although I think the music doesn't quite fit the gameplay here and could be a little more uh, or a little less dramatic than it currently is. Other than that, though, it looks to be shaking up like a pretty nice little title. So, if you're interested in these sorts of titles, then yeah, go for it because this is another experience where you can see quite a pleasing little world, especially as you get put some colour into it and you've got the lanterns going around it looks quite spectacular. But if you're not into these experiences then these then this game just will not be for you at all. If you like this video hit the like button. Uh, if you didn't hit the dislike button, this has been a look at lantern and it is out now on Steam. I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I shall see you very soon in another one. Cheers.